Hey everybody, are you ready for another cool science experiment? Well, we are here at the Clark Planetarium. Cynthia, Cynthia Chekets is joining me yet again, and uh, we've got the mood lighting down a little bit. It's a little dark in here because we're talking about light and moreover glow, glow sticks? Absolutely, Chris. You know glow sticks are the best like summer night activity, right? Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. And they're also great for safety and other kind of science reasons. So I'm, I've am i got some glow sticks here. I'll let you crack sure. them because who doesn't love cracking a glow I used stick? to love this as right? a kid. You find the darkest room, you get a glow stick. A nice shake. Yep. And you know that nice snap when you crack them? Yep. That's actually breaking a tiny glass vial inside. So you've got a chemical inside the plastic tube. It's phenyl oxalate. Ester is a fancy word for it. Say that five times. I know. <laughs> but in that glass vial is hydrogen peroxide, which you can okay. make elephant toothpaste with. But when you crack it, right, it cracks that vial, lets them mix, and now we've got what's we called chemiluminescence. Okay, chemiluminescence. Chemiluminescence. And feel that, that glow stick for me. Does it feel any different than when you first got it? Not really. It doesn't give off any heat. Yeah. So that's really cool because most light gives off heat or energy. But what we can do is then add heater energy and it's gonna change our glow stick. So if we can get our mood lighting down, okay. I'm gonna show you a really fun experiment to try at home. You've got your glow sticks. Got them. And you're gonna need two different containers. We've got this one and it's got a little bit of hot water. Okay. This one's got a little bit of cold water. Now, we'll use these as a, as a tester. Ooh. If we take out this orange stick. I love it how the lights are coming Isn't that down. Fun? And yeah. All right, but look at that comparison. This okay. one's so much darker than this one. And if I flop them, I'm gonna put this one in the hot water, this one in the cold water. We're gonna give them a minute and we're going to see what happens. Now, Chris, do you, what do you just know about hot water already? Like, if I put in that glow stick in there, what do you think will happen? Okay, uh, if you put a glow stick into hot water, I'm assuming the heat is going to expand whatever's Ooh. inside the glow stick and, and therefore make it a little bit brighter. That's a great way to think about it. Yeah, so that, that heat actually- <laughs> I'm really I'm proud of myself that I did that all on my own, okay. I'm impressed. Look, they're already swapped their wow. colors. You see, this one was brighter before and this one was darker before. That, that energy that you're talking about, that hot water is giving those molecules, those chemicals, more energy. They're bouncing around more and the more they collide the more light they make right well here's a question for you yeah if uh if it's in the hot water and it's heating up and it's glowing faster, mm -hmm. does that mean it's gonna die off sooner? You're thinking way ahead of the game. Oh, I, well, okay, yeah, I didn't mean no, to jump the gun. No, that's <laughs> great. If it's, if it's colliding more, glowing brighter, it is going to, eventually all those molecules will collide, you'll be out of glow faster. So if you ever wanna preserve a glow stick that's already been cracked, stick it in your fridge overnight and it will still be glowing in the morning. Just don't put it in the freezer and then mistake it for like a popsicle or something. You don't want to do no, that, guys. No, you don't. <laughs> and if you ever need some extra glow, you just swirl your, your uh, glow stick around in some hot water. Well, should I put it in the hot water? Well, let's see, let's see real quick if we've got a difference between our two here. Oh, already? That's it's already, a bit and that's only been in there for like four or a five seconds. A couple seconds, seconds yeah. So this will preserve. And that's good to know if I'm ever scuba diving in like the Arctic there you or go. someplace there very you go. cold. Yeah, that's so great. Uh, where can folks find more information about this and other experiments? Well, in our planetarium, we actually have some new exhibits. There's one right behind us Ooh. talking about plasma, plasma. Um, which is really similar to this kind of energetic light production. Super cool. Sorry, I'm playing behind. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you can come in and check out our exhibits. We'd love to talk to you more about it. Absolutely. Guys, check out uh, the website for more information. Stop by the Clark Planetarium where exhibits are free. Yes, they are. Yeah, it's free to come in and, uh, and be sure to have a lot of fun while you're exploring all this cool science. Cynthia, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>